I'm Professor Heather Belknap, and I am so happy today to have been invited to talk about the most beloved of our Latter-day Saint artists, Minerva Tykert, and a painting that was voted just a couple of years ago as uh, the favorite painting of the entire Museum of Art collection here at BYU. And this is oft reproduced in Relief Society manuals and I also see this in church houses, and it is just a, a painting that is known and loved in our tradition. And so one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this painting in particular today is to think about Minerva and her love for women and representing women in her art, and also just uh, honoring women that were in her life. And so start with talking uh, about Queen Esther, who is a Jewish heroine in the Old Testament and uh, who is uh, to be married to the king as we know and uh, eventually discovers that uh, a law is being enacted or a decree that the um, Jewish people in the kingdom are ordered to be executed and so uh, she is an example of courage for us in that she comes forward and she uh, tells her husband that she's Jewish and that she is uh, wants to, to save her people. And so I think that this is a painting that we love because it is a woman who is courageous and who recognizes her larger role uh, in the world, and that is to uh, extend care and compassion for others. And uh, this is also true of Minerva Tiger. So the, the story behind this particular work, its rationale, is that there was a young girl who grew up in her hometown of Cokeville, Wyoming, and would often model for Minerva and Betty, uh, Betty Stokes, what's her middle name? Anyway, <laughs> Betty uh, Stokes, soon to be Stokes, wanted to go to BYU, and they couldn't afford it. And so Minerva said, let's, let's make a painting then, and I can sell it or give it to BYU. This is something that Minerva often did to help her children and members of her family, members of her community, uh, go to school or be able to travel or have clothing. Uh, and so that generosity marks this painting as well. And so uh, Betty uh, modeled for this and then was able to go to BYU and go to school. And unbeknownst to her, Minerva made a copy of the painting. And when Betty got married a few years later, she presented her with a copy of this. And that is still now in the Stokes family uh, collection. And it's just slightly different. I think there are two women uh, in uh, Betty's and there are three uh, that are the attendants for, for our queen, uh, Esther. And a part of the kind of wonderful layering of how important women uh, are, not just in the scriptures, but in building community and in caring for one another, Minerva was the beneficiary of a lot of women in her life who supported her training, and including her mother. Uh, there was a wealthy patroness in uh, Idaho, a doctor, who helped uh, also to um, get Minerva started in her, her studio, and uh, this will continue on and on. Her greatest art patron, Alice Merrill Horn, uh, also uh, a woman, and so for me, this is just a good reminder of um, the importance of being a courageous woman and a woman uh, who cares for others, and that uh, sense of community is something that we see in, in all of her works. It's very rare for her to have a solitary figure, which I think just goes to that latter-day um, understanding and value of the importance of community and 